conservative Robert Scribbler on his blog, robertscribbler.com, wrote an essay. It was posted March 3rd, 2016. It's titled, The Roof is on Fire. Looks like February of 2016 was 1.5 to 1.7 C above 1880s averages. Note here the shifting baseline. We no longer pay attention to the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, the seven, uh, roughly 1750. Instead, the new baseline is the 1880s, so we ignore the first 130 years or so of the Industrial Revolution. And this has become commonplace. In fact, the mainstream media reports now using the baseline of the late 1800s or, more recently, the 1961 to 1990 30 year average. Scribbler is pointing out and quoting Eric Holthaus, who wrote a paper in Slate. Holthaus indicated that for the first time in recorded history, average temperatures above the northern hemisphere briefly crossed the threshold of 2 degrees Celsius above, quote, normal. And Holthaus picked up on that. Uh, momentous occasion at Slate, adding that the global warming is now, quote, going into overdrive. That's a quote from grist.org from March 4th, 2016. Even unbelievably conservative Joe Rahm at, quote, think, quote, progress, thinkprogress.org, has concluded that satellite anomaly for the lowest portion of the atmosphere is plus 0.83 degrees Celsius. And this is relative to the 1981 to 2010 baseline. So we're adding 0.83 to the at least 0.85 that was experienced before that. So even Joe Rahm, really fudging the numbers, comes up with 1.6. So it's pretty clear that the 1.5C target uh, established in Paris in December has already been eclipsed by data indicating that we're somewhere between 1.6 for the very conservative approach and for the very conservative people who are taking that conservative approach to 2.C. At least in the Northern Hemisphere, it could be at this point that we're at 2.C, the Rubicon we absolutely could not cross, the so-called target which we could not cross. It was never, of course, a scientific target, but it was a target established by a neoclassical economist by the name of William Nordhaus in 1975. It's meaningless, not surprisingly. That's what we're sticking to. In any event, 2C is, is on the horizon, if not already behind us in the rearview mirror. Global dimming alone ensures us another 3 degrees or so of, sorry, at least a 3C rise in global average temperature above the 1750 baseline. And it seems more likely to me that we're headed for um, at least 5 degrees C within the next decade or so.